In 2021, scientists made human monkey embryos and cultured them in a lab for up to 19 days. Human cells were placed inside monkey embryos created by fertilization, and the human monkey embryos were made up of mostly monkey cells and some human cells. The scientists did this with the goal of identifying ways to enhance the survival of human cells and improve human chimerism in pigs and other species, with the view of developing transplantable human organs from animal donors. But this brings up some interesting ethical considerations. Humans are generally, although not universally, thought to be of a higher moral status than other animals. And internationally, non-human primates are given a higher status compared to other non-human animals when it comes to scientific research. So now that we are blending humans and non-human primates, and we know that non-human primates have relatively high intellectual capabilities, at what point are we creating beings that we should not be using in experiments? And here's another interesting consideration. Many jurisdictions limit human embryo research to the first 14 days of development, which is when what will become the central nervous system begins to develop. As I said, in this experiment, researchers studied the embryos for up to 19 days, which is past this limit. While these embryos were not human embryos, should we limit the research to 14 days after fertilization? Or does it depend on the proportion of human cells in the developing chimeric embryo? And if so, how many human cells is enough to trigger that limitation?